This right here is the cleanest editing style you will see in 2025. I've even made them presets to where they're effortlessly drag and drops. But in today's video, I'm gonna make it easier for you and show you how you can edit a couple of these effects that I made in DaVinci Resolve 20. But if you guys are interested in grabbing the presets, they will be in the first link in the description. And if you are new here, my name is Ryan and I help other editors get saucy in DaVinci Resolve. But without further ado, let's hop straight into this tutorial. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave this footage down in the description so you can literally practice with it. But guys, I'm gonna be doing this as a an example but you literally saw the YouTube intro. I'm gonna edit the YouTube intro for the tutorial. I'm showing you guys the example in the beginning of the tutorial. So first things first, we have to cut this puppy up. So, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it up. That's pretty simple stuff. It's just, you know, coming over here, just hitting slash and hitting shift delete and cutting up your clip. Once you have your beginning started, I'm just gonna come over here. I'm gonna slap my power grade on it, just like that. Now you can see we have my colors all back to normal. And then I'm gonna go ahead and slap my LUT on this bad boy to make it look kind of clean. This is gonna be the intro. I'm pretty set in stone on this. It's pretty, it's pretty clean. It's nothing crazy, you know, but this is what we're gonna do for now. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and chop this up and then we'll continue the video. This right here is the cleanest editing style you will see in 2025. So guys, the total cut time is about 25 seconds long, which is not bad at all. So the first thing I'm gonna start off by doing is making uh, J cuts when it's, you know, uh, when it makes more sense. So if we come through here, Five. I've even made them pre like this makes sense to kind of come up and move this over like a couple frames and start this a little earlier, cut that like so. And then we're just going to go ahead and click this and deactivate, unlink it, make sure these are the same. So we're just going to turn these on mono. So come here, go there. Now, if we play this, you can hear what it does. Five. I've even made them presets to where they're effortlessly drag and drop. So when it says the s we don't really want to hear that. So we're going to bring this in right about there. Probably let's hear that. That sound. Ops. But in today's yep. So we'll, we'll do it right there. And then we're going to bring this back down on link these. And we're going to do this for about all the rest of the clips. Ops. But in today's video, I'm going to make it easier for you and show you how you can edit. Okay. So we did one, two, three, four, five J cuts, and then we're just going to call it there. Now we're gonna start straight off with the animation. So I'm just gonna kind of do my thing and tell you guys how I do this. So the first thing I would do is grab the Magic Animate, which is a free plugin, by the way, by Mr. Alex Tech. So you guys should go check that out, look it up on YouTube. But we're gonna take this fusion overlay and pull it from my head so it goes like this. This right here is the clean. So you see how clean that looks? When I come in, it zooms this out. This right here is the- That's so clean, bro. Like that's literally so clean. Um, and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna unlink this and then we're gonna go drag up and create this as like another clip. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the fusion page with this second clip. We're gonna hit shift space for a magic mask. We're gonna go to better and then we are going to mask out the subject, which is me. And then we're gonna give it a second, let it load. So as you can see, it's pretty, uh, it did a pretty good job. We just wanna make sure that we're neglecting all of this dead space out here, um, like that right there and then make sure we're on better and then we're gonna hit track back and forth. I did a mistake. So in the beginning, you can see that there's this like dead space right there. So I just have to come here and take out that dead space and then redo it. All right guys, so now if we scrum through the footage, you could tell that it's pretty much good now, good to go. You know, we're not looking for anything crazy perfect here, but we're just looking for something that can do the job. So this is just gonna have to do the job. So guys, what we're gonna first start off as with is obviously we're gonna start off with my pack. So we have um, something that just comes up like this. So if we literally just play this through, it comes up, slides up like that. So if we play this through, this right here is, this right here is the, so obviously we're gonna do something cool here. So this right here is the, first of all, we're gonna size this down to where it's like right here. And then since this is just a preset, I'm gonna come over here into the fusion page and we're just gonna hit shift space for a drop shadow because obviously it's default. We don't, we don't, I don't wanna put the effects on the preset for you. So I'm just gonna make it easier by just, you know, making it to where you can add your own effects. We're just gonna do a, a tiny little drop shadow and then we're gonna put it up here like this, probably like right here. But then we're gonna start off this right here. This, this. and then we're going to say this. This right here is this. 
And then I say right, so we're gonna hold option and scroll up. And then we're gonna do right. Right here is the cleanest. And then edit. we're gonna actually change this one to where it's like right there. So this right, so then we, we look at this. We might have to bring this one up a little bit too. So boom. This right here. Is so this, this right. right here. And then we hold option, go up, and then do here. Here is the cleanest at, at And then we're gonna obviously scroll down on this one too, so where it's just right there. Now, if you want some extra sauce, you can see this is kind of cluttered. We can clearly tell. So all we have to do is come to the right, and then we're gonna zoom in on this so we can see what we're doing here. But basically, we wanna change this, this distance to where it's coming up in a way. So we're gonna change the drop angle and turn it up like that and then turn the drop distance down to where it's like coming up just like that so now if we come here you could see that it's kind of overlapping on the this but we don't want to do it too much like this is just kind of too much at that point so we like that but we just want to keep the distance like right there now if we come here you could see that it's like on that right there and then if we add this one into we could do kind of the same thing so we can come here Turn this on, turn the drop distance up a little bit, and then change the drop angle to where it's right there. Maybe a little less on the drop angle. So now we have something like this, and if we zoom to fit, it looks so much more clean. But after looking at the right, it looks very harsh, so we're gonna come back into this. And we're gonna change the drop distance down just a little more. That way it's a lot more subtle. So now we have something like that. So now if we come back here, boom. Now if we play this through. This right here is the this right here is so now we're going to keep all of this is the clean it right here is the cleanest editing style and then we're going to cut that whole thing there so so right when i say you we're going to start a whole new sequence so we're going to stop that right there and then here this right here is the, the it is it then we have is the so we're going to obviously do the same things we're going to hold this up go like this is but this time we're gonna do something a little different. Is the... Is the cl cleanest at... But for is the, we're gonna bring it over here, like so, and then... Here is the... the is This time we're gonna hold a compound clip, go like that. Is the cleanest at... And we're gonna come to cropping and go on the right scale, just like so. And then you see that there's like this little cutoff right here. Just turn the softness on and turn it like on the inside. So it's just like that. So then we go. Is the, the, and we're going to cut that there. We're going to now change that back to the. So now if we play this back, so it just goes like this. This right here is the. Here is the. Clean, here is the. So now for cleanest. So you see we have these ups and then up glitch. So up glitch is a lot different. So if we play this up glitch with deactivating these right here, you can see what it does. So it just, boom, just like that. So so it, it makes like this glitch effect. So what, we do, so what we're gonna do is we only put this when we wanna emphasize things. So we have to make this the same text font. So we're gonna keep the size, come here, boom, just like that. But the thing is, is you're saving so much time because the editing, the whole animation is done itself. And I'm gonna show you how to do the animation too. So stick around for that. Is the, the, the... Then we're gonna obviously go ahead cleanest then we're going to shave this off right here so cleanest editing style so then for this one we're going to throw like right here is the cleanest and if you want to keep it cohesive we can come here and just simply add on the same drop shadow effect to this one right here so if we go ahead come in here all you gotta do is just add that sucker in there just like that so now it's the same exact so the cleanest edit editing style you so now all we got to do is just put cleanest right there and then for all the rest we're going to do the same exact thing so editing editing style you will stop out out so for editing we're going to put that puppy like right here that looks good editing link and then for this last one, we're going to keep it just calm, nothing crazy. Just put in editing and we're going to put it like right after so that way you can fit it all in there. So style. Style, you will.
style we'll keep it like right here just like so and I mean look at how clean this already looks so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this one to where it was right there and we're gonna bring it all the way up and you'll see what it does so Please, as we play style. this you can see it's coming behind me so you see it's behind me you see it's behind me um, it's all coming behind me and it just gives it a premium feel so if we this right back, here is the cleanest editing style so now to make things in my life a whole lot easier we're going to go back and grab some magic zoom so like i said guys go find magic zoom is completely free um it's so easy to use too and then we're going to slap this right here you and then it does this subtle zoom in style you so what i want to do is i'm going to swipe up here and make sure all of these fade out so i'm going to do three to four frames on each and every single thing to where it's like makes it look premium now still bear with me guys i'm still going to show you how i did this effect i'm not like here to gatekeep or anything so just bear with me so now if we put this editing style you will see. so now I'll you now we're just going to do something very simple calm collective so i'm going to cut this bring this back down here because we don't really need it up there anymore um and then we're just going to simply come here and copy this to save our lives, I'm gonna keep this here and I'm gonna go in here and I'm just gonna delete the transform node just because I don't wanna go ahead and create you, that that effect you. over and over again. So now we're gonna add this back in. We're gonna bring this up here so I can see what I'm doing. You don't have to bring it up there, but like I said, I'm just doing it so it's easier for me. Then we're gonna come here and we're gonna size this down like so. And then I'm gonna simply put this in the middle like this. So then we go. Oh, you will. So you see how it fades into such a clean look. So then we go. You, you, you will. And then we'll, we'll, we'll see. If it's like lagging, you could just turn off the magic zoom by just deactivating see it. And and then if it's still lagging, come to playback, go to time around resolution and hit quarter. It'll degrade the quality, but you can edit faster. So now if we play this through. You will see it. See it. And then we're going to do in. And then for this, we're going to literally go like that, size it down. And we're going to fade this out by three frames. And then we're going to come and grab another one. And then we're going to do 2025. So I say 2025 pretty slow. So we're just going to go ahead and add that sucker in there. And then if we bring this right here, we can put it right there. 2025. I've even. I've, and then we're going to cut that magic zoom I've there. Even made them sets to where they're Leslie drop. So now if we play this through, this is the effect that we learned today. This right here is the cleanest editing style you will see in 2025. I've even made. So now if we want to go one step further, we can go ahead and go to the sound effects, come to grab one of my risers in my, in my all in one bundle, which is 97% off. And then turn the riser down like that at 13. Five. I've even made them presets to where they're five. I've even. And then. <clears throat> Then we're gonna grab one of my vert transitions. I take that over a few more frames like that. And then hit 90 and then scroll up and then go to add. So now if we play this. I've even made. Um, and if we want to kind of give it a different effect, we can add a different one that's like more like, um, has more color to it, which is kind of the vibe I'm wanting to go with today. So go to add, boom. I've even made. And then all we have to do is come to sound effects and then grab one of these sound effects right here from my bundle, turn that down, boom. I've even made them presets to where they're effortlessly. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. So if you look at this, this editing right here style, is the cleanest editing style you will see in 2025. I've even made them. And then now we're gonna go ahead and add music and then finish the rest of the edit. But guys, if you guys are serious about leveling up your editing style, this pack is in the link in the description. 
in and it's only included in my all-in-one bundle so don't forget it's only included in my all-in-one bundle but my all-in-one bundle is the cheapest thing on my site so now i'm going to show you guys how to do the animation so the animation is very simple we're going to come to the text titles and then we're going to grab a text plus and then we're going to come here and go ahead and choose my text font i want to do so let's say i want to do clash variable display and then i'm going to do up glitch just like that and it's really simple guys so we're going to size this up to where we want it and then we're going to go to the fusion page now in the fusion page it can look scary but it's not i promise we're going to go to template and hit shift space for transform node then we're going to scroll down to about 0.38 and hit a keyframe and then go to approximately 25 frame frame 25 then grab the 0.3 and hit 0.5 meaning that it you now you sell you created yourself an animation a very boring one now opening the spline tool you can click in this little area and hit command a this is going to highlight both of your points now double clicking we can go to this thing called easing and then hitting this out cubic button is the magic so now if we play this through you have that now obviously doing that each and every single time can get time consuming i understand um, so now i'm going to teach you how to do the glitch so all you have to do is come to the shading and then turn the opacity all the way down hit a keyframe, go approximately three frames forward, come up. And we're just gonna repeat this process over and over again. Just going frame by frame, just utilizing some of the opacity method. So now if we play this through, we have up glitch. Now, if obviously if you don't want that glitch, literally just don't do all of the keyframes I just showed you. Um, it's very simple. So that if you don't want the glitches, you just have this. So it's as simple as that. And then you would do the same thing if you're coming right, left, up, down. So it's very simple to make, but if you want to support me, if you want like the, the final like thing that I use in all my videos, the one that I literally use in this video to show you, then click the link in the description. The first link in the description is going to take you to my all in one bundle and all my all in one bundle has the minimalistic pack into the, the text effects. It only only comes in the all-in-one bundle, but it's the cheapest thing on my website. So it's up to you if you think this is worth it. But guys, this is quite literally my, my favorite editing style to edit is this style right here. And it's the cleanest editing style too. So if you guys are still watching, um, thank you for watching, but I will catch you guys in the next video.